Hi, I'll talk about storyboard software comparison. So first part of a storyboard software is an ability to draw all frames. Uh, this is not my topic because you can do that in very various ways. Uh, you can sketch them really easy or painstakingly model every frame in 3D, which is an overkill. Uh, I think you should keep it simple and stupid. I use photographies or sketches, it depends. Once you have all frames collected, then comes the next part, arranging frames uh, in a proper way to get the right rhythm. Uh, this is the second part of a storyboard program and it's even more important than the first one. Uh, this is a storyboard for a music video done in Celtics. Here you define framing for the shot, uh, which is unpractical because people use different names for shots. Uh, where is medium long shot, for example? or big close-up. You have to use Celtics framing convention which could work for you or not. Well, inserting an image is simple. You can rearrange them of course and finally export to PDF. But there is a problem if you want to change the frame. Uh, I think you can't. Uh, you just have to delete the shot with text and add new shot. That's the only way. You can sketch the position of the camera actors, but in reality it's not working at all. I'll show you why. So let's import our sexy star actor here. And if I want to rotate her, um, I don't know exactly what to press. Now she's getting huge. Okay, let's import the camera. Spectacular. We save it. And the result is uh, very strange. You can go back and make it bigger, but I think it's useless. Also, I'm used to have pictures left and the text right, but again, I have to stick with what Celtics thinks is the best. So, you can rearrange the frames and you can print it or export to PDF. Uh, but I want to print the storyboard in different ways, according to location or according to time, day, night shots, or by appearance of actors or even by framing of shots. And this is impossible to do in Celtics. I also like to write additional brainstorm notes about the shots, and I can do it only in the main frame here, which is not good. Uh, I can play my storyboard at the end, but it is totally basic, just a slideshow. You cannot control the duration of each frame. You cannot add sound to it, so useless again. Uh, for me, the best program for arranging frames is Excel. Why? Uh, I can have as many columns as I like, and I can rearrange them easily. The only problem is that Excel doesn't work well with pictures. Uh, but there is an add-in program, which is called Excel Image Assistant, which makes Excel ideal for arranging storyboard frames. Uh, first, you must arrange the cells in Excel so they all have the same height. Before you import the frames, it make, make sure they are in the same resolution. All pictures should have the same aspect ratio. 16 to 9 is the most common, of course. That way you get all pictures aligned. So, let's insert a picture. You define the path. Picture can be inserted in the comment box, but I want it into the cell. Okay, another one. After you imported all pictures, you should not move or resize them. Uh, if you do it, then Excel would act strange. Uh, when you put together your storyboard, you want to see how it looks. Uh, instead of slideshow, it is the best to use Adobe Premiere or Adobe After Effects. I just add all frames here, add music, transitions, and I can see what is working and what is not. So in order to finish the storyboard, you should go from Premiere to Excel, back and forth, until you are not satisfied with the final result. Some shots will be used many times, especially in music video, so instead of repeating the shot in a storyboard, which could be confusing, I just mark the order of appearance in Excel. It's very simple. Uh, now you can arrange frames in different ways. For production, you can now arrange and print the storyboard as you like. 
according to location, according to actors appearing in the shot, exterior, interior, by framing, by night or day shots, by location, whatever. Of course, after you shoot the video, the final editing will look different, but you would know exactly what you are doing. So it's very practical. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching.